Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that your work week has gotten off to a great start. We had a great weekend when it came to our weather today. Kind of carried over in that same theme, but we have warmed up a little bit with all that sunshine. And we're going to continue this warming trend into tomorrow, but we are going to start to see some changes for our Tuesday. Those are going to be mainly felt in southern Utah. Then those changes really ramp up as we get from Wednesday into Thursday as a system approaches. And then eventually cooler temperatures will find their way back into the beehive state. So over the next couple of days, we're going to be quite a bit above average, especially in northern Utah, but those temperatures will at least ease back down to seasonal averages, at least closer to averages by the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. And by the upcoming weekend, going to be a good one to go look at some fall colors. I mean, they're looking fantastic right now. This was captured by Chris Williams today, the Alpine Loop. I mean, it's just beautiful watching those leaves change. So you can definitely tell not all of those all, all the foliage has changed in this particular cam in this particular camera view, but we're approaching the peak of what would be our fall color transition. That's normally in the first couple of weeks in October. Meanwhile, the lower elevations normally around mid month to the second half of the month. So if for some reason you can't go look at the fall colors this weekend, just know you'll have more opportunities to do so. In the meantime, here's the view from Southern Utah University overlooking the quad where we're currently sitting at 82 degrees in Cedar City, just mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. A very nice afternoon down in Cedar City. And here's the view from Snow Basin with the sun now coming in view, starting to see a little bit in the way of some fall colors around Mount Ogden. But this is always just such a spectacular view looking towards Mount Ogden. It's 71 in Garden City near Bear Lake. It's 81 degrees in Ogden, 69 degrees in Park City, 85 degrees in Moab, and we're sitting at 88 degrees in Kanab. If you're going to be taking your dog for a walk and you have a very good pup like Sonny here, you're going to have to take him for a walk. I mean, look at that face looking at you all sideways saying so you got to take me for a walk. Right now we're sitting at 84 degrees in Salt Lake City. Temperatures will be falling from the 80s eventually into the 70s, and temperatures tonight are going to be a little bit milder compared to what we've seen in recent nights, but still going to be a pretty nice one to take your dog for a walk. And here's a look at the regional forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Well, we'll drop into the upper 50s along the Wasatch Front in Salt Lake City at 58. Meanwhile, we'll climb into the mid and upper 80s for those daytime highs. Meanwhile, Park City will climb to 76 tomorrow. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for most across the Beehive State with a daytime high of 78 in Emory. We'll see a high of 79 degrees in Nephi. Then down in southern Utah, a daytime high of 72 in Bryce Canyon. But in southern Utah tomorrow, where we're going to start to see those changes, we could see at least a few isolated showers and thunderstorms generally in the higher terrain. So you can see that the southern two thirds of the state have that general thunderstorm category, but mainly for the high terrain tomorrow, just because that moisture is going to be building in as the high pressure moves to the east. Winds start to return out of the south. You can see that best chance for showers actually in northern Arizona tomorrow. But then going into our Wednesday as that moisture content continues to increase the southern two thirds of the state chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms and going into our Thursday, a cold front starts to approach and we could see those scattered showers and thunderstorms in northern Utah, including the Wasat front right now kind of giving it about a one in three chance for wet weather before that front starts to move away to the east. Still have that moisture lingering, so southern Utah could still see some showers on Friday, but then we'll also start to see those cooler temperatures find their way into the state. And in St. George, here's how it looks where we'll see a high of 95 tomorrow, but on Wednesday, a chance for those showers and thunderstorms, keeping at least a slight chance Thursday and Friday with daytime highs kind of settling into the lower 90s with overnight lows mainly in the mid 60s. Meanwhile, on the Wasat front, going to be dry and warm for our Tuesday. A slight chance maybe late in the day on Wednesday predominantly past sundown, but then a chance of showers on Thursday, a slight chance on Friday. But once we once we get from Friday into this upcoming weekend, daytime highs are going to be mainly in the mid to upper 70s with overnight lows in the 50s. If you want to stay on top of your weather, all you have to do is